Well, I came to this yard looking for a, I think it was a 78 Firebird, and it's not here. <laughs> but I ran into this. I think, I want to say this is, this may be the oldest, the oldest car I've featured. I made a video on, I think. I have to go back and look, but uh, definitely the oldest Cadillac. Yeah, man. 1940 Cadillac. I'm not sure what model. I think it's like 52, 60, 62, 70, 75. I don't know, man. <laughs> I learned a few things, you know, by because uh, I don't know the, the in these years. I really don't know anything about these cars. Any any car, really, for the most part. When it comes to like in the 40s. But uh, you're probably going, man, I mean, this was... <laughs> look at him. Just, how much of it is actually left? You know, sometimes it pays to be curious, man. <laughs> to go, you know, looking inside and seeing what could be in there. See all that stuff there? All that stuff was in there. This was another one of those um, abandoned projects. You know, I mean, a rough one. You know, one of the first things that caught my eye, right? It's like, I looked at that. I was like, man, that's fairly new. Huh, interesting. You know, that is not going to open up, obviously, because F 250 is in the way. But, uh,. I think the one way you could tell is on the taillights what model it is, you know, what series, but I, I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I like the look of it. Obviously, it's missing the, the, on these, it would have the removable rear fenders and the front ones as well. So it's missing all that. But, uh, you see that right there? <laughs> She's got a V8 under there, man. Flathead. <coughs> this was a new... I think this one was new. And they put it on there. And they broke. You know, they ended up breaking it. But that looks way too nice. You know, it's got the... It's got that red oxide... Uh, primer on there does that light up i want to say does that light up uh oh crap i like that that's neat but yeah so and then of course these doors right here will not open very very far as you can see we'll go around the other way because it's easier to look that way but uh, see not much uh when you see bubble wrap, man, you know there's a possibility that uh, there's some rebuilt stuff in there. I'll take a look under the hood in a minute. Now here, I can't... It says date due... What else does it say? Something was written there. Let's see, I can't see it anymore. I'd like to get that's pretty cool. Of course, we're missing the steering wheel. Heat, slow, fast, off, defrost, fast, slow. Got your nice set of gauges here. Temperature, battery, gasoline, oil pressure. Went up to a hundred miles an hour. What is the? What are we reading here? Twenty-one thousand. The caddy. Uh, you know. We got your. Uh, I'm assuming you, this is the way. You, one of them's got to be for volume. The other one to uh, adjust here. Also push button here. And your radio. We got your clock as well. Yeah, we fancy. We fancy with it. Does that say throttle? I guess you pull it out there. And your starter. Nice. Not sure what thing this is for your probably your cow 
cow, that's where the cow, yeah, I can see it up there moving. This here, I thought maybe something pops down or something, but I couldn't get it to move if it is. Is it part of the heater or something like that? And obviously we got the little heater deal right here. That's cool, it's little doors. Just speaker right here. Pretty worn there. We got some new ones though, huh? Do you see that? Check that out, man. That has been powder coated. I'm assuming these are probably drums. Look at that. Look at that. Another one there. Down there as well. Uh, I'm not sure what rear end goes in this. First at the arm of the manage. Of course, there's the, uh, the front uh, bumper. There's Cadillac on there. Seal plates there. Hmm. Doors, I mean, they're pretty straight. How many doors? I'll tell you, this would be a little treasure trove for somebody with, I guess, a 39 or a 40. You know, because I went through it and looked. There's the other part of that grill, side part. Cool hubcaps. There's one there. I don't know if you can see it. It's wrapped up back there. Control arm. And. The other one is somewhere around here. No, I saw it. Oh, it's right here. I'll get to it in a minute. There's your air cleaner. Grease fittings. They did shop at the at your uh, home. I mean, I'll be both freaking uh, Harbor Freight. Now, the uh, the receipt here from O'Reilly's has it from 2011. So, I guess that would be about the time we're, we're a decade. Got a set of these cool Michigan. They're the same, right? Yeah. Historic vehicle plates. That's cool. Car come from Michigan? I don't know. Look at that. That control arm, man. Been powder coated. Right. There's and the other one back there. Got new uh new brake drums. Uh, not drum, but uh, shoes. Not powder coated. Light bucket there, you know, a few other odds and ends. Uh, an extra it's a wiring harness with the with another uh, gauge cluster there. All right. In here, a bunch of other stuff. King pen set here. Nicely powder coated. Nice stuff in here, man. You know? We got some uh, Moog U joints. These are made in the US of freaking A, baby. And you can tell this. Look at this. These are, uh, look at that. Brake best. These are uh, uh, wheel cylinders. Right? They're made in the USA, so you know this was still a while ago. Because now this crap, this this would be made in Spain. Have it and easy. Yeah. The cool thing, I looked them up, and they'll actually fit one of my cars. You know, later they go all the way into like the seventies. More powder coated stuff. Yeah, check it out, man. There's the uh, the other one. The tail light lens, brand new. Let's 
bearing and whatnot. See that rear end? I'm thinking it's I'm thinking that's that's the original one. It's very pitted, but it was powder coated. It's the old deal here. Other uh, the ring gear is inside. I saw it back there. I didn't know what these were. <laughs> these are actually uh, there's one front. I don't know if there's another one in there, but they're uh, they're the shocks. They're the freaking shocks. At least I'm pretty sure that's what these were that I, that I read on there. Rear and the front. And I think they were in the middle of rebuilding. This might be re these two might be rebuilt. They were building that one. I'm not sure what that window goes to. I think it's too big for the rear on this one. There's your. Uh, it's pretty cool, right? That. I'm not sure what this is. What is this? What does this go to? Sure. Hmm. I'm hoping to find that front piece. Do you know those deals that go on the? Uh, it goes on the on the hood, the hood ornament. And I think I found them, but not. I think this is part of it, right? Right? It's that two of them, right there. So check out the grill. Oh, this thing's it's pop metal. Pretty sure it is, right? It's heavy as crap. It's nice too. It's not. It's not. I wonder if this was a. Uh, because I'm not feeling any pits on this thing here. You know, usually, usually you'll see pits on them. I would think by now. I'm actually thinking this was re-chromed. Yeah. I think they re-chromed this thing. I think so. There's some pitting right up on the top there. Or is that pitting or is that a stamping? I'm not sure, but... Oh, wait. We do... Yeah, we got a little bit of pitting right there. Unless it was in really nice shape, and I'm not sure. But I bet this would clean up really nice. Not sure what this goes to, this hubcap. Cool looking though. And I don't know what this, I don't know if that fits the back of that. Not sure. Hmm. And you got these here. Yeah, these were, these are just, I might have just been in really nice shape. Yeah, this one's got some pitting right there. So. There's the deal with the put this in here. Oh, there's the nose to it. And then just stick that there. Yeah. And of course, I know I'm pretty sure. Y'all see this right here? I don't know if y'all can. I'm sure these were re-chromed. This Check it out. And I, I, I went in there hunting them down, hoping they would all be there. And check it out. These were re chromed. At least, I believe so. That's just way too nice. This would have been the originals right there. Or the way they would, you know. I mean, well, I guess you could have a nice one, you know, taken care of. But, uh, yeah, if you don't know what these are, these are uh, bumper guards, an accessory, an you know, it's like a, an add-on, wouldn't have came on all of them, on all these cars. So. Let's take a look under the hood, and, uh, oops, hmm, is that part of it? I don't know. This was done recently. This would have been probably a decent hood. Some big old uh, horns. Two of them. Yeah, 
I don't know much about these engines. Actually, I don't know anything about them. So, let me get the, uh, uh, there we go, Google Man. See whatever information you can get from it. Got the yard people driving around. I think I'm looking uh, suspicious over here. Well, hope you enjoyed this, man. I, it's wow, over 16 minutes. <laughs> Typically, do not take that long on videos, but uh, yeah, this is a. Even though it's only about 70% of it's here, it's still pretty dang cool. All right, people. On to the next one.